Lisa Shaker from the Outside World Entertainment. I'm going, I'm heading straight to the chicken farm in Stouffville. Hopefully, I can find a guinea bird or a guinea fowl. This is the road will take us straight to the chicken farm. Here is the chicken farm. There is a sunrise there. You can see the sun between the trees. It is now almost seven o'clock in the morning and let's go and see what they have in there for us. Yeah, this is a Muscovy duck hen. Over here you have a few drake. So sorry, no guinea fowl today. So here, I arrived at the chicken farm and so sorry I couldn't get the guinea fowl but I do have a Muscovy duck stay tuned watch me how I making a beautiful duck curry today so here I arrive home and I, we slaughter the duck kill it and put it in hot water now we're gonna feather it here we feather it but we couldn't remove all the feather but we will remove the feather here now and look how we do a large part out the tiny feather and make sure you roast it properly to remove all the feather beautiful duck must be finish roast the duck and now we'll cut it up here I'm cutting it up and time to cook a beautiful duck curry so here we have our meat cut up we cook it in the scarahi now we wash it clean and now we are ready to cook so these are the ingredients we're going to use to cook the duck curry. We have hot and spicy duck and goat curry powder. We'll make a chatak duck curry. Here we have the garam masala. And we'll use some ground roasted jeera. Look at these spices. Wow, and we have cooking oil, we have some black pepper, the salt, and this is the pink salt we will use. Of course, Davy favorite, paprika, and soya sauce. We have some crushed garlic, some chopped onion, green onion, hot pepper, and thyme leaf. So here we add some cooking oil into the pot or you can say karahi. And we let the oil heat up. Here we'll cook the duck curry with natural wood. Way to go. Chatak duck curry, fresh from the farm. So, in goes onions. Thank you. 
And we let the onion fry in the hot oil for maybe 30 seconds. And then we'll add crushed garlic. And now we'll add the crushed garlic. In goes crushed, crushed garlic. garlic. And we'll also put add some green onion. A little bit of green onion. And that will give the flavor. In goes some chopped hot pepper, mm -hmm. habanero. Yeah. Now uh, we're cooking outdoors, so I can afford to fry this in the oil. It won't make me sneeze. Mm -hmm. If you're indoor, don't try to fry the hot pepper in the oil. So now we're going to add the hot and spicy duck and goat curry powder. Mm -hmm. And actually this will be a chata <coughs> duck curry. Masala. A little bit of ground roasted jeera. <clears throat> and as you all know, I love paprika, so here mm -hmm. goes my paprika. Uh, paprika is your favorite spice. Give this a nice stir and let it fry for a minute or so. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Smells good. Alright guys, so now I'm going to add the chopped duck. Fresh from the farm. And this is Muscovy duck. And add, add some black pepper. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of soya sauce. And this is the bunchy part. The meat is bungeeing in the masala curry powder with the crushed garlic and onion. It's gonna be a very spicy duck curry today. I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme. I'm not too busy so I have some thyme. <laughs> We're going to put a lid on it and let it cook. Oh, I can smell the curry. Beautiful smell. I can't wait to have a bite of it. All right, everybody. So it's been a few minutes. And let's take a look. Our stove is cooking really nice, so we don't want it to burn. Yeah, our wooden stove <laughs> with natural firewood. And I can remember as a kid growing up in Guyana, this is the way we used to cook our food in Barbies. And one of my duty was to go and get the firewood. And my duty was after my mom finished cooking, I used to daub the fireside. Yeah. If you well, guys remember how to daub a fireside, put a comment below. Actually, after cooking, I see people daub the fireside, but yeah. I thought it was to observe the heat. No, it's actually better. to make your fireside look nice and clean. Okay. Like you're covering up all the black, the black soot. 
and actually most time people cook on fireside the oil the karahi yeah so it's easy to clean the karahi bottom and that's the mistake i did today i didn't oil the karahi so or i have a lot of work to do after the cooking <laughs> or sometimes you, you rub some ash on the um, pot bottom but i'll tell you cooking on a fireside the food tastes different has a nice smoky um taste and look at this fresh duck cooked with natural firewood you can imagine how this duck meat will taste fresh duck meat from the farm Oh, so I'll let it cook. All right, so let's take a look again. And as I said, it's going to need some water now to boil. Mm, look at it. Beautiful. Oh, I can smell the ingredients in it. <laughs> I feel very hungry right now. I don't know why. With curry? The <laughs> duck? Uh, I think the masala get into me. Alright guys, so here I'm gonna um, pour some water. Oh. And here goes Shaker's friend. Boom. Uh, the scotch bonnet. Uh, we add pepper earlier and now we add a scotch bonnet into it. So this will be a really spicy duck curry. So it's boiling away and I'll just put back the lid and let it cook. And look at the fire. Fire is roaring. Beautiful. Okay guys, so look at that. The duck is finished cooking. We tasted it for taste and texture. And it's perfectly done. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh garlic now on top. And I'm also going to add some green chili and some green onions. So here is the fresh masco beet dogs that we pick up from the farm this morning. From the farm, into the pot. Ready to eat. And then from the pot, it's going to be into my belly. <laughs> onto my plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from my plate to my belly. All right, so here we go. This is duck curry cook done right. And this is how you turn off the stove. You remove the firewood from the fire. There you go. Stove is off. So here I have rice, dal, and my fresh farm duck, and I love the spicy stuff. Let me have a beer. Cheers. And let me have my duck, fresh duck from the farm, and first thing is a duck with some nice pepper sauce. Very tasty, delicious duck, fresh from the farm. Dal, some rice, a little bit of pepper sauce, and we have a taste of that. Cheers. This is the Outside World Entertainment, the Shaker and Davy Cooking Channel. Please give us a thumbs up, share our video, 
and if you did not subscribe as yet please do so and we will see you on our next show thank you very much and you all have a nice day bye